We are back. Oh, there it is. Okay. Woo! Hey. How you doing? Well, the Ball Central Podcast is back. Me and my boy John is here. Elijah will be coming up very shortly. We are back. You know, Ball Central Podcast, you can find us on the platforms down below, YouTube, Google Podcasts, Spotify, et cetera, et cetera. And, hey, we are here. Uh, NBA All-Star Weekend slash break is now over. So we have a lot of stuff to go over. But first, um, one of our co-hosts, Akeem, Nigel Wright, not here this week, obviously for reasons. Uh, he has a TikTok as well. Check him out. Also, I went through his latest TikTok. There's some disrespectful ass comments of him just bowling. So I just wanted to say it's just a lot of jealousy, obviously, in the comments because, I mean, yeah. yeah, a lot of people, especially against what what, uh, what Akeem does as a bowler, and it's just like some disrespectful ass comments. So I don't know why hate comments are necessary. Obviously, it shows should, it just jealousy because you can't be as good as a bowler as Akeem as all right. So I just want to say, Akeem, we have your back no matter what. And we love you. So I just want to get that Damn, message across. That's crazy. Yeah. There were some negative comments? Uh, I'll show you off off air. I got you. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, yeah, people just want to be haters. Drinking some haterade or something. I don't know. Yeah, there's, there's no room in this world for hate. For hate. And obviously, you could have you could have just said something bowling related. But it went, it, it went past bowling to other oh, things. Did it really? I can't I'm, say I'm, one thing. I'm so. going to be the first one to tell you I'm a horrible bowler. I think, I think bowling <laughs> is an interesting sport where uh, – uh, the way Akeem does it, I like the way he does it, where it's like he's in a league and he, he participates and he tries to get better. And I mean, I nothing but compliments uh, to Akeem for doing that uh, year round. But uh, it's for me, it's bowling's always been too expensive. You know what I mean? And the fact <laughs> that Akeem can do it for an affordable rate, you know what I mean? And do it a lot and practice it and, and be well at it. Craft. Yeah. Like, I mean, people should respect when people put work in, and I mean, nothing but respect on this podcast. So yeah, and all he did was post a video of him bowling. He didn't do anything out of pocket, nothing yeah. disrespectful. Just him rolling the strike like he always does, and then people out of nowhere just come with some hateful ass comments, which is not necessary. If you don't like it, just scroll. That's it. I know, right? And I mean, it's TikTok, so it's only what was it like less than ten seconds? Yeah, that's hilarious. That's, yeah, just, I, I think you should revel in that. That's what's up. Yeah, just to know, Kim, you're very appreciated and loved here at Ball Central. Just remember that. And if just just to show our love, check out our, our social medias on, on Twitter, et cetera, et cetera. We put his TikTok and the video up. So go show him some love on TikTok, saying we love your talent, et cetera, et cetera. Tell him Phil and John sent you. So with that being said, John, how have you been? It's, it's been, been pretty good. Been pretty, uh, it's been a pretty busy week overall, though. Uh, I mean, last week you did the show by yourself. Sorry about that. Uh, had some family issues uh, where I just had to like – Life happens. Move. Yeah, stuff happens. But uh, overall, I've been very good overall. Uh, taking pictures, editing. Uh, yeah, just rinse and repeat. That's what's happening. What about you, Phil? How you doing? Um, uh, the solo show went decent. Just talked some NBA stuff. Also on Tuesday, mm-hmm. I did like a, a, a live tier list on Twitch and YouTube, I believe, of yeah. some teams and NBA players. We're going to do that uh, later on the show as well, me and John. Uh, I'm pretty good. And All-Star Weekend uh, came and gone. Uh, congratulations to you and Elijah for winning the charity Thank event. Team EJ. Team EJ. Team EJ. I mean, shout we out. dethroned the champ. So we are now the champs. And uh, it's great that I can say that to Phil because he uh, loves to rub it in my face sometimes how he's the champ. Yep. But uh, it's, it's great to dethrone the All-Star Weekend champ for charity. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. It, it was tied going into the All-Star game. And then obviously Tatum, Brown, and Kyrie carried Team EJ on their back and destroyed yeah. us. So shout out to them. So, speaking of um, All Star Weekend, but we're, before we talk into that, we have some NFL small talk we want to go over. Just some small bits of news before we move on to the NBA stuff. Um, number one, most the most recent news: uh, Bobby Wagner is no longer a Ram. Reports That's were crazy. saying the Rams released Bobby Wagner a couple hours ago, maybe like around two or three or four, and they, uh, Bobby Wagner said uh, he wanted to be released and he wanted to to play for a winning team. Damn. So, any landing potential landing spots for Bobby Wagner besides the Jets? I mean, I was just about to say the New York Jets. I mean, <laughs> that's what I just said. Yeah, so. with next to CJ Mosley in that defense, I mean, I think he'd be nothing but an asset and do what he needs to do. I think uh, he got a lot of grief because he replaced Von Miller, who they do two different positions. He's a cover linebacker versus uh, a pass rusher. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I think he got a lot of grief this year, and uh, he performed well this year too. I mean, he did play well. Uh, I think. I think the one reason you might you might see a bit of bad blood or a little bit of, uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how you would say that. It, it, 
he didn't leave it on a sweet note when he said he wanted to play for a winning team. Do you know what I mean? Like it was kind of a little bit of a snub. And I realistically, that's because Bobby Wagner represents himself. So, you know what I mean? Like that's, that's the hard thing and smart thing about that. Um, teams are hundred percent honest with you. And uh, maybe he signed too big of a contract last year. And I, I feel bad because like he was signing up to go run it back. You know what I mean? And people got injured and, it's uh, a lot of different factors happen to that team. So uh, I think, I think it'll be interesting to see who he signs with. Uh, I like him. I like him in Kansas City. I like him in uh, Buffalo. I like, I like him leading a defense that's already kind of established. You know what I mean? I could see him going back to Seattle. Uh, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. At this point in his career, you need to go where you have the best chance to win. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Also rumor has it, Jalen Ramsey could be next. I mean, his contract was big contract. So, I mean, like, that's that's the one sad thing about these big-time defensive players, like, later on in their career. It's like, I'm, I've always been a player advocate of you keep them as long as you can. You know what I mean? Especially yeah, I mean, yeah. on your team. But, I mean, like, for example, I don't mean to bring it back to the Giants, but after they won the Super Bowl, uh, OC got hurt. And uh, – You've been your, yeah. Yeah, O.C. Emmanuel got hurt, and they, they asked Michael Stram to come back, and he said for, like, $4 million extra dollars. Like, he, it was like it was like a $9 million contract or whatever back then, which was, like, 2008, which, I mean, it, I know that doesn't seem like that much, but, like, back then it was a yeah, lot. You know back what I mean? then, yeah. So it's – I don't know. It's it, it's going to hurt them, and it's going to – it's it's sad because, like, you know, in my and your eyes, Bobby Wagner is a great player. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He'll always be a great player. Uh, It just – it wasn't a good fit, you know what I mean, situational-wise. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. From nine million dollars to play to players asking for forty five million dollar contract, so it's, it's very Crazy. different times right now. And I mean, and like, it's not like it's it's not like it's even Bobby Wagner's fault. Like, I mean, yeah, that that team is in in so much need of money that like they sold their soul for that Super Bowl. <laughs> exactly. I mean, and then and then like they don't have any first round picks. They don't have any second round picks. You're you know what I mean. You're supposed to keep a team together yet not spend too much on people. So I mean, I could see them moving on from Bobby. Because they need a lifeline, they need they need something. You know what I mean? Right. Bobby Wagner was getting paid a lot of money, like as he should have been. He's a great player, but gotcha. I don't know. Also, um, Eric Bieniemy is your new offensive coordinator for the Washington Commanders, I believe. And also, Lashawn McCoy has some words to say about it. They said he basically the, just to sum up. I'm not gonna you know try to say word for word what he says because I don't remember. But he's basically saying uh, Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes are the reason why Eric Bieniemy is has so much praise. And then Eric Bieniemy responded. That uh, Shady is a Hall of Fame runner. Uh, he's entitled to his own opinion, but I don't let that stuff affect me. So he can say whatever he wants. So, what are our thoughts on that? My thoughts, at least, first thought was, "Wow, what a guy!" You know what I mean? Somebody is fucking crap about you. You know what I mean? A former player who you coached. You know what I mean? And barely. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> barely, barely coached because he was at the end of his career. I mean, a great career, but he was at the end of it. So, like, I'm. I, I don't know. I if, if I have any thoughts on it, I'd say uh I didn't I didn't like LeJean McGoy's comments and I, I he at the end of it kind of sauced it over with I hope he gets hired. I hope you know what I mean somebody takes a chance on him, but it's not like he does anything. You know like that that's what the premise of that interview was. Yeah. And it's just like you just talk crap about him for like 20 minutes and then you're saying I hope he gets hired from somebody. No one's going to hire him. And I think I think it's scary. Like, don't get me wrong. As a Giants fan, I'm afraid now of the the Redskins. They used to be an easy win team. The Giants always beat, them. always beat them. The easy W. You see that on the wall? That would be anytime we play the Commanders, W. Any anytime. Like, and now it's like now it's something. Here's your chance to here's your chance to prove Shady wrong. You, you have you have a decent offense. You need you need to figure out the quarterback situation. You got Terry McLaurin. You got uh, Curtis Samuel. You got both those running backs and. Uh, Robinson and McKissick. He's got to figure out the offense. And he's calling plays now. So, I mean, and who knows? Ron Rivera might not last the whole year. So, who knows? You could be head coach. I would fire him. I'd go with Eric Ebanami if I had to, if I had to switch up a head coach. Like, and there need to be a, a position change. I, I honestly still think he should be getting head coaching jobs. I think it's, it's crazy that Houston has he should, yeah. three straight head coaches and not one of them has been Eric Ebanami. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm messing with his name right now. Sorry, but oh, yeah. now one has been him, and it's it's crazy because like yes, Patrick Mahomes is an amazing player. Yes, Andy Reid is an amazing play caller and a great coach. You know what I mean? But to to say that like 
it's all on them. Like, do you know how many other coaches were great coaches that then ha- had coaching trees, which means coaches like then got jobs because they coached with whoever. Belichick, et cetera, et cetera, yeah. Yeah, and it's, I mean, everyone, like, is entitled to their own coaching tree, but it's it's kind of just crazy. I don't know. That situation is just crazy in Kansas City. Like, I don't know what to think of it. Like, I can't believe that he wasn't, you know what I mean? Like, he wasn't dubbed the next head coach when Andy Reid leaves. You know what I mean? There, right. uh, Stephen A. Smith talked about it because, like, Jason Winton was kind of, not Jason Winton, uh, Jason Garrett was kind of dubbed uh, the new – was going to be the Cowboys head coach when Phillips was there because Phillips had age problems. They were like, hey, if anything happens, we got, you know, Garrett. And, like, that's that's happened in the past. And, like, Eric Bieniemy is a, a solid coach. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm I'm a little nervous about it as a Giants fan. Uh, I, I hope the Eagles are nervous. I hope the Cowboys are nervous because this guy can call a offense. Like, he didn't just coach with Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes. You know what I mean? Like, he – he helped develop some, those scheme plans. He helped develop ring around the rosy. Do you know what I mean? Like, right. it's. I I think I think the league's about to be put on notice. So, I mean, I don't know, but. Right. Um, what other NFL news do we need to? Re- Derek recap? Carr visited with the Jets. What do we think about that? I mean, hey, a, a Hall of Fame quarterback like Derek Carr having a, a opportunity with the Jets. I think that's a good fit. The Jets have a lot of options. Lamar, Aaron Rodgers, Derek Carr. I think it was good to feel out how he thinks and stuff like that. So it was very good. I think it was very good. I heard it was, it was a very good visit for, for the Jets. So, hey, it's a good option. I heard the same. Phil, what do you think about it? Who Who's the quarterback that has you shaking in your boots? Because the Jets are getting an upgrade this offseason. Who's the quarterback that you're nervous about as a Patriots fan? I probably said Lamar if you guys get Lamar. That'd be crazy, but because we almost beat Aaron Rodgers last year, so yeah. But like, I mean, De- Derek Carr, mm. you Aaron, Ro- you have to understand that this isn't just Aaron Rodgers. This is Aaron Rodgers with the same offensive play caller that got him his first MVP. You know what I mean? Is Aaron Rodgers going into the same scheme as that guy? Do you know what I mean? This is Aaron Rodgers, like get, getting to play with a quality defense. I mean, I don't know. I just. I don't I don't know who I want, you know what I mean, but I know that I know that it's going to be an interesting offseason and I'm excited to see what the Jets do with it. Uh I don't know. I I like Derek Carr too. I don't know. I just I I don't want him to leave Derek Carr on a string if if that makes any sense. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you guys get one of those three quarterbacks, I think I should be you guys should have definitely a bounce back here from last year. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know. I mean, if, if Lamar Jackson's like two first round picks, two second round picks, you know what I mean? Aaron Rodgers, I mean, I, I wonder what you're going to give, give give to get him, but I wouldn't give him more than a second round pick because he he's he might retire after this year. He goes into the darkness. You know he's out mean? of the darkness, technically. He's out of the darkness now, but he goes into the retreat. Yeah. He, he, got back, he just got back from his darkness retreat. So, so like I, I'm not even I'm not even making fun of him. I think that's a cool thing to do. You know what I mean? Especially also, it, it looked very nice. They showed pictures of it. It looked very nice. I mean, yeah, he's. I mean, Aaron Rodgers isn't gonna go sit in a hole. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> come on. No, that dude. That dude's really smart and really, really bright. And I think he's a definite Hall of Famer. And I I wish he had more Super Bowls other than that one. But right. realistically, I, I do think that whoever takes over the Jets quarterback position could bring us to a Super Bowl it's depending possible. on who we pick yeah. I, I heard a report today someone on TikTok I saw a TikTok where they had us picking CJ Strout trading up for the fifth pick for CJ Strout Are I, you like that. I would cry I'd Phil another rookie quarterback in his, in, in his, the second pick <laughs> hey, bro I, I I can't even I, I I need an adult to take over this offense just for a little bit just for a season you Joe Flacco no, Joe Flacco <laughs> is a free agent. He's going to retire. He was a great Jet, but um, I'm I'm looking for someone who who started more than ten games last year. So I don't know. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, anything else we want to talk about NFL before we go to NBA? Uh, anything else happen? Uh, I don't think. To be honest, Brian Flores did get a defensive coordinator position. Pittsburgh, right? Yeah. No, he he was uh the linebackers coach on Pittsburgh. I think I think he signed with the. Browns, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe, but uh, he he's the defense coordinator now. He just signed a new job. Okay, um, that's good. But I think that's it for the NFL. Yeah. Okay.
let's move on to the NBA. So obviously the trade deadline happened and we didn't get a chance to recap it fully. So uh, I'll just to, like some quick trades. Uh, the Clippers uh, load up because they need everyone they can with their health situation going on. They add uh, Mason Plumley, Bones Highland. They get back Eric Gordon, who played for the Clippers a long time ago, and most recently they just added Russell Westbrook. Uh, mm-hmm. How do you? I for me personally, I like these additions just because they have one of the deepest teams in the league. Their only problem is they can't stay healthy, and with with Russell Westbrook, Gordon, Plumley, and both Highland there, Ka- Kawhi Leonard is bound to miss some games because it's Kawhi Leonard. So I think those mm-hmm. guys can help fill in that Kawhi hole. So. And, and plus, it makes them a really deep team and heading into the playoffs because the one thing you need for the playoffs is a good bench and deep team. And I think that the Clippers check all the boxes with that move, with those moves. So I didn't buy it at the beginning of the year. I'm not buying it now, Phil. I don't know. I don't know if I believe in the Clippers. That's fair. I, I do believe in Kawhi. I think I saw Kawhi come back and he is the same Kawhi. You should be afraid of him. He is scary. You know what I mean? But right. uh, I'm going to say that the Clippers are going to end up a lot like the Nets. They've got a lot of talent. They've got a lot of great people. You know what I mean? But if they're not healthy and they're on the floor at the same time together, they're not going to create something called chemistry. Right. So if they can't create chemistry, they can't win. And they can't win. They can't. That's it. You know well, what I mean? They have perfect segue. Uh, the Nets also, they went from title contenders to rebuilding in one season. Uh, the, the, the Nets sent away Katie to the, to the Suns for picks and Cameron Johnson and Mikel Bridges. Uh, first, before, before we make fun of the Nets, let's let's talk about the Phoenix side. Uh, I think it's 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 all it's all or nothing now. You you have to win a championship. Kevin Durant, Chris Paul, Devin Booker, and Jan Ian. If you don't win a championship, though, it's, it's your guys going to be the last stock of the NBA. It's all it, you have. There's, all the pressure is on you guys for training with Kevin Durant. There's no room for mistakes here. First of all, let me just say, you know it is. You know it's on the Suns. It's I, oh the heat what, is on the Sun. And you know what's even crazier is that. You know who's got even more pressure on him now? I'm just that he's putting on his own shoulders. Kevin Durant. Life's not here yet, so he, he can't say it. But Luca, Luca's Luca wants to beat the Suns, and they Ooh, just got. If, if Luca beats that team, with Ka- that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I, 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 I would I, I wouldn't say there's pressure on Luca though, because I wouldn't say there's too much pressure on Luca. Well, no, I'm not. I'm just saying you just got Kyrie. All right, so now you have another star who can play with you. Okay, and then I mean I'm just saying like I. Was it was it Valet or was it you who were like the Suns will never come back? They're dead. They're dead to me. They're dead. That was you. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, how how dead are they, Phil? They need to win a championship. They need that. You know, first of all, that that's a great segue because they definitely do need to win a championship now. Like Kevin Durant can't go from the Nets to the Suns and not win a championship. You know what I mean? Just just legacy wise, that'd be horrible for him. Absolutely, that'd be, that'd be so sad because like he, I don't know, he's definitely a Hall of Famer. You know what I mean? He definitely could be one of the. 10 greatest players to ever play the game. You know what I mean? With his size, his length, you know what I mean? What he does for on both offense and defense. Ugh. But I, we're going to, let's dive into it, bro. I can't, I, let me, let me get some extra coke for this. Because, gotcha. Yeah. Bro, um, yeah. Bro, I mean, how many championships did they bring home yet? How many championships? They traded for how many Hall of Famers? Wait, who's, who's city who's city who city is it? Who city is it? It's the next city, baby. And by the way, guess who we traded for the deadline? Josh Hart. Yep, Villanova. J- I mean, Jalen Brunson and him. I mean, and what you would call it was like pumps. He was like, yeah. I would be too. So, like, you get to play with your boy and Josh Hart's pretty decent. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I mean, I'm excited. That's a decent move by the Knicks. You know what I mean? So, you keep Brunson happy. I mean, you get another guard who, who's gritty on defense. I, that's Josh Hart known for, right? He's not a, a star star, but. Oh, yeah. He, he's, he's a role he can, player. He can shoot the ball. He can play defense. Yeah. He can rebound. Yeah. Also, I'm um, looking at it, the Suns and the KD trade. How do we feel about what the Nets got in return? So I far, the Nets, they, yeah. they got a better trade than the Kyrie trade. Yeah, so so just to sum up, for after trading away KD, Kyrie, and uh, James Harden, they got Ben Simmons, mm-hmm. Seth Curry. Mm-hmm. Uh, for Kyrie, they got Dinwiddie and DFS, Dorian Finney-Smith, and, and picks. And for KD, they got Cameron Johnson, Mikal Bridges, and picks. So I mean, for me, I think this might bring back like the, the old the old school Nets, like the ones where Spencer Dinwiddie was like the, the star player, and when they had like uh, Jared Allen, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, like the old school Nets. You know the when they were gritty with D'Lo. Yes, with D'Lo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, also, D'Lo the, the Lakers now, which another great decent yeah. trade deadline. 
Yeah, I think uh, this is a good team. I mean, I'm gonna say it's a good team, but it's a decent team. If you if you add a star, they're a star away from being a, a competitor. Get out of here, bro. Get yeah. out of this, here. This is you a deep team. So? Yeah, star it, away from being a competitor. Yeah, they're star away from being competitive. I'm not saying the best team, but you got to draft your stars. Don't even the, 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 this franchise is a joke. All right, the NBA should really start thinking about who they let in the NBA because they just let for the second time in history. Oh my, I can't even. Kevin Durant, Russ, and uh, no, not Russ. Russ didn't play. Sorry, Kyrie. Sorry, Kyrie got a, with another superstar. So it's but the second time in history they got Kevin Durant and James Harden together, and they didn't get him a championship. I know it's wild, but I mean, right. so what do you think about it? Do you think you really think they're a star away? Yeah, I mean, this team has a lot of depth, and Claxton has been playing well. You you you, you got to look at it uh, roster wise. Dinwiddie is not no slouch. Uh, Seth Curry's a decent shooter. Cameron Cameron uh, Johnson and Mikael Bridges, they're both decent wing players. Claxton is doing well, and the bench is decent. You you add a star player. I think they, they could be in – I wouldn't say title contention, but they definitely could be a playoff-worthy team. I don't know. I don't know. How's, how's Ben Simmons doing? Is he, is he done, he's done for the year, too. He's not playing well. <laughs> bro, he's not playing well. I, bro, I don't – I don't even know what they're going to do with him. Are they just going to let him go? Maybe. We'll see. Like, they have a whole office to figure that out as well. I mean, I yeah. Also, uh, John mentioned D'Angelo Russell going to the Lakers. So the Lakers made some moves as well. Uh, basically, they did a, a three-team trade. Michael yeah, Con- yeah. Mike Conley has to the Timberwolves. Uh, Russell Westbrook has to the Jazz, but then got bought out and has to the Clippers. Uh let's see. D'Lo, uh, Malik Beasley, and Jared Vanderbilt went to the Lakers. Yeah, and Minnesota gets Conley. So basically, what the Lakers got and what they needed badly, defense and shooting, and I think they got those got that with those three and Mo Bamba from the Magic. So I think they didn't get the the desired package for Westbrook, but I think they got enough to make at least make a, a play in slash playoff push. So, but the fact that Westbrook got bought out and then went back to LA, he should. I mean, he should, but like, I mean. He, I don't they, know. They said he appreciated he they got, he got appreciated though as soon as he got there, which is good. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, oh, so good for the Lakers. Uh, they got some shooting with Beasley, defense with Bamba and Vanderbilt. That's what you guys needed. Shoot, you, you they were lacking shooters and defense, and they got it with that. So they did, they did. And Mobamba was going to rebound, and I mean they're young. Blocked they're shots. Teams. Yep. They need they need some youth. As great as those like older players are, they need some youth. Right. Holy shit. I mean, they still won't have as many wins as the Kings, but definitely good move for them. Phil, where are your, do you want to make the bet? That's up to you. I asked Phil, you. Phil, let me just tell you, All-Star Weekend, what, what do we have? We had a bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, these, a bunch of these, a bunch of Ws. I'm just saying, on my side, I'm me, just saying. Me, me and you got the dunk contest, right? I know, I know. I, I, got, I got the skills challenge, right? So, Bro, you almost got the three-point contest right, too, again. I was like, this – you picking nobody's, and they're they're ending up in the second. Oh, first of all, Buddy Hill has the most threes made. In this Get out of here, bro! Nobody. But, Buddy Hill has the most threes made this year. Nah. Dave Dave almost got bounced too in the first round. If first off, Curry was injured all year. All right. Okay. Yes. Oh, Good. that's why Buddy Hill leading the league in three pointers. What are we talking about here? Why isn't Dame Lillard not doing that? If he was, oh if he was my injured? god, Dame is trying to also shout, shout, shout out Tyrese Halliburton. Scored 31 in the first round. Shout out to him. I mean, what is he going to do? What is he going to do? Good for him. Yeah. That's your boy, too. Absolutely. Oh. Uh, so, uh, what else trades? Uh, da, 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 da. I think that's it for trades. That's the major ones. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of the Kyrie trade? I didn't, I didn't think. I thought Boston got a steal there. The Kyrie trade? Um, I think it was, it was good. Um, I mean. Like I said, with, Ma- with the Mavericks looking at it. It's, it's a win-win for the Mavericks. You get to see what a star looks like next to Luka Doncic. And worst-case scenario, if Kyrie doesn't stay, you have all the cap space to sign another star. So it's a win-win. Yeah. Well, who are you going to have to come to Dallas? You know what I mean? Like We get to see how they how Luka performs with another star. Maybe that star might see how they perform and say, hey, maybe I can do that or better with Luka. So. He might re-up, too. He might sign like a two-year deal for like a lot of money. It's definitely possible. What do you think for Dallas? 
I mean, I don't know. I thought Dallas definitely won that trade over Brooklyn, but then Brooklyn kind of got the picks back that they should have gotten with Dallas in uh, in that Suns deal. So, I mean, I don't know. I overall it was a, it was a good trade deadline. It was definitely better than normal. You know what I mean? So, uh, I liked it. It was very active. Okay. Uh, what do we got next? Uh, so, so we all star weekend. We're gonna wrap that up and do a little charity wrap up. So, um, all star weekend basically we'll go by um event. So, I think the it was the uh, rising stars challenge, obviously. The who won it was team pow, team pow, and team Noah was in the finals. So, either way, one of our teams would have won. So, well, who won team pow by five? Team pow, by by a lot. That's right. No, your your job, Quentin Grimes was lighting it up during that event. So shout out to Quentin Grimes. I know, bro. I, I'm so aggravated. I I picked against Quentin Grimes, even though like Team Pal won. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so, I mean, the, the right result won. So so you guys started off with a W there. I think a King picked Team Pal too. So that's good for us. Uh, skills challenge. The Jazz won. Team Anthony the Kumpo and the rookies completely shit the bed in the shooter round. It was a nasty sight. I wasn't about it. I wasn't about that team. So five points for the rookies. I mean, eight, eight, I, eight points for Giannis's team. I think that's what I mean. I think, I, I, yeah, I know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to. I don't know what to yeah. say. And then the Jazz won that one. So a point for me because I'm the one that picked the Jazz. Uh, three point competition. Lillard won and Julius Randle. Did you see the thing with his kid? Uh, no. What happened? While he was shooting, the kid made it like a stank face. Oh, really? And, and they panned right to him as he did it. Oh no! During, during Randall's performance, they, they, like you know how how our screens are set up. He was watching his dad shoot, and like he was like, "Oh shit, this is gonna be a mess." Oh yep. no! It yep. was like that. Yep. Oh no! Oh no! I love it's, that kid too. That kid's so funny. It was he was hilarious. so cute two years ago when they were winning. Yep. Now well, like bright side. That wasn't the worst three point contest performance because Randall scored thirteen. Kevin Herter out of everyone else scored eight. So I almost picked Kevin Herter. I almost, Ooh. but I picked Julius Randall. So. Well, I mean, hey, you get you got five more points better. So, uh, Lillard won that one. Akeem and Elijah got that pick right, and I chose uh, Buddy Healed, but he came in second, I believe. Yeah. Uh, and then so the Buddy Healed go to the finals or the the semifinals or whatever, and I was just like, I was like, damn it, Phil, damn it, how did he, how does he know? And I mean, yeah, sure, you could say that Buddy Healed is like leading, you know what I mean, the NBA in threes, but like. My second pick was Halliburton too. Is he that good? How, how did Halliburton do? He 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 finished second. No, he, he finished third. Oh, okay, cool. So, it, it, it was Halliburton, Heald, and uh, and Damian Lillard in the, in the final round. So two Pacers versus Lillard. I almost picked that that uh, Portland guy who also sucked. Yeah, Simons. Yeah, he got injured. That's why Randall's playing. So yeah. So I uh, did dunk contest. Me and John came through with the picks. Mac McClung put on a show. Uh. Oh, we think, gotta talk about this. We got yeah, there's go a lot being said. I don't know if you saw the Gary Owen TikTok. Nope. Oh my god. You know who Gary Owen is? Yeah, the comedian, right? He's, he's a white comedian who yeah, yeah, yeah. to black audiences. And yeah. he, he goes, oh, We back on top. We back on top. We back. Mac when McClung. He's in the dunk contest. How crazy. How crazy. Yeah. How crazy. He put oh, on a show. I mean, he was he was clearly the best dunker. So bro, he was. And you got a lot of people saying, you know. Why don't we just go to playgrounds and pick these guys off the side of the freaking road? Like, like people. If okay, LeBron James doesn't want to dunk. Okay, well let's go get Matt McCombe. And it was it was a better All Star game than like it had, like the last three dunk contests sucked compared to this dunk contest. This dunk yeah. contest was really good, and he was like fresh. So I mean, like maybe maybe yeah. there should be an open tryout beforehand. Right. Not everyone oh, can just make it. Also, do you do you think it's weird that he was a G Leaguer go once he was announced, but then a week or two before the contest he, he gets signed by the Sixers? No, I don't think that's a little bit of coincidence. I think that, I think that was that's good. That's good press by the Sixers. He he literally wore all their stuff, you know what I mean? For what yeah. a 10-day contract. How much okay. he was, and you know what is even sadder is like he won the contest, which gave him a hundred thousand dollars, and he's making a hundred thousand yep. dollars in the year. So he's only like the fact that you got put that guy's like money on TV like that, like two thousand hundred thousand, two hundred thousand dollars is what he's making on the year as of right now. Do you know what I mean? So like, I, I just think that's messed up. I don't know. That's just me. But I mean, I, I mean that is like public information as well. But like you really gonna put it out there, like okay, 
He only has a hundred thousand dollar contract. So what? he's playing in the NBA. Like, yeah, I don't know. So yeah, you guys, we got the dunk contest right, and then the All Star game. This was a tough All Star game to watch, bro. I literally also- can't believe I, I I talked so much smack about Jason Tatum before the All Star game when I was picking him. I was just like, hey, if he doesn't do it, Brown will pick it up. And Brown did score a little bit, but he didn't. Not oh my god, Brown scored thirty two. Jason Tatum, I am sorry, and I guess when I talk shit, you answer. So good for yeah. you. Bro. So. Uh, me and me and me and Akeem had our draft, and Elijah and John had theirs. So I'm just gonna give you guys the quick recap of the, how the scoring went. Uh, funny enough, the three people who scored the most were Celtics or former Celtics. So shout out to them. So here's a little recap of how that scoring went. Team left to right, me and Akeem on the left, and then Team Elijah and John on the right. By the way, Yana scored only two points. What a bum! I can't. I should just let Akeem pick them. I can't believe I. Just- you guys, you guys got to choose the captain. Right. Did, did, did I say did, right? Away. I chose I chose Giannis for the slight, and he came out and only scored two points. Yeah, he got I'm, injured before the week thing started. That's why. Fucking, mm, I'm so annoyed. He he didn't play skills challenge. If we would have picked LeBron, like would have been the smarter move. Like, bro, I mean, and by the way, way by the way, my point was 100 percent made with it's stupid that Giannis straps because he didn't even know Ja was starting. Yep, he he, he just, got him with reserves. Get somebody else. LeBron looked like he was a freaking genius up there. He's just yeah. paying attention. You know what I mean? Like, like I get oh. it. Giannis is in the moment. You know what I mean? Probably not paying attention. Yada yada yada. But like, to to he had a know. book. He had, no, he had a book that got leaked as well. His, his draft book was on the stage, and the cameras p- panned onto it. Really? Ooh. Yeah. Team Giannis I mean, did win. Team Giannis did win, though. I also picked Joker, who was a bust. Uh, yeah, the biggest mistakes was drafting Luca and Joker because they don't do much. All star game. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, so I the top the top scores for team left to right. Donovan Mitchell went off for forty. Joel Embiid went off for thirty two. And my boy Halliburton came through with eighteen. So shout out to for Terry's again. And then team team EJ of course. Jason Tatum fifty five. Jalen Brown thirty five. And Kyrie Irving thirty two. And twenty six from Dame. By the way, I picked two of. Our leading scorers. I'm just saying. I picked Jalen and Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. So I'm just, I should, I, I, I should, yeah, I should have picked Jason Tatum right after LeBron. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. You know what I'm saying? But hey, congrats on the W. I literally can't believe you didn't, bro. I mean, uh, yeah. I know you went for Luca because for honestly, I really, if I didn't take Giannis, you would have took Jason Tatum off for it. I thought he was gonna like you know go against the narrative like he doesn't try to an All Star game. I bro, which I that's what I thought too. You know what I mean? And he put up fifty. You know what I really think his his narrative is? He wanted to win MVP. So then in the finals, like like he's a part of the people who won All Star MVP and then Finals MVP in the right. same year. And this is a recap of how our team is did. Phil, so, what do you think about uh, that? When I say that to you. About what? Like, do you think do you think you believe that Jason Tatum is going to bring home? An NBA Finals MVP? I mean, going this off year, of recent history. Saying. Do you think he joins uh, Kobe? Do you think he joins LeBron? Do you think he joins people? Like, there's a uh, literal lineage of it. Like, people who I mean, win All-Star MVP end up winning Finals MVP. So, I'm just saying, like, like that Steph, is – Steph last, Steph last year, Giannis the year yes. before. Yes. It's possible. I'm just hey. saying, that we could bring it up. We could pull it up. We'll do yep. some research on it and then get back to it. But I'm just saying, dude. I yeah, think that's what I, he was trying to do. I, I saw I saw the graphic of it. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying it's guaranteed, but I'm saying they have a very good chance. The Celtics are the number one team record wise so far. So it's, it has a very good possibility of it coming true three, three years in a row. So And you're trying your best not to jinx it. I know you are. You're, Absolutely. you're, just, you're trying your best just to be like, we're a good team. We're a good team. Bill inside is like, we're going to destroy everyone. We're walking through yeah. Memphis. So I don't care. Um, as a final leaderboard, Team EJ raised $70 for the American Red Cross, so shout out to you guys. And me and Akeem, Team Left Right, uh, $65 for the UNCF, so very good charity. And we, and we got a $30 donation for the UNCF from, from someone, so shout out to uh, my boy Kobe for the $30 donation for UNCF. So Nice, bro. Shout out to Kobe. Yep. Shout out to him. Okay. So we got that out the way. Does he spell his name the same way as Mr. Bryant? C O B Y. C O B Y. How interesting. All right. So that being said, we have two segments left, and hey, we're making great time. Thirty-four minutes. We uh, we're gonna do our. Uh, me and John are gonna work on a tier list together. Hopefully, there's not a lot, there's not a lot of arguing and yelling at each other. So it's gonna. 
<laughs> so we're going to do uh, a tier list for how we see NBA teams at right now or how they finish, how, how we think we're going to finish. So let's so see. I'm going to make this list look crazy. I'm gonna, it's going to be crazy. I don't, I don't, I don't doubt it. Um, okay. So I want to make it so Elijah and Akeem have to come onto this podcast and be like, we don't support. Okay, so the six categories: finals contenders, final finals contenders, conference yep. finals worthy, or conference finals contenders, playoff contenders, play-ins, mid, and basura. Let's go to basura. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna we're just gonna get these out the way. The Rockets. Yep. The Hornets. Hold on. The Nets. Let's, let's, be let's be honest. What are the category, Phil? That's where they hold on. Let, let's get the obvious ones out the way first. But that's pretty obvious. You Is lose it Kyrie and you lose? What, you I think I think they're I think they're a playing team. They were a top four team, Phil. Well, we can we, we can agree the Pistons are bas- yeah. basura. No, I don't know. They're mid. Put Pistons in mid. No, they're one of the worst teams in the league record wise. They're going to be better by the end of the year. I guarantee you. I, no, they're they not going to be a top bottom three team. Can I, we can we agree, agree? Can we agree the Spurs are basura? Yeah, but okay. put the Pistons to mid. Because I believe in their depth. And their depth will be good next year. I promise you, Bill. In the next next year, this years. year. This, next year, this year. Okay, well, this year, too, maybe they will finish pretty okay. They'll do better than the first half. They'll do better than the first half. Okay, they'll be mid. They'll be a little bit better. Don't worry okay, about so, it. Um, so what we want to do is there's four play-in spots. So we're going to have four from the east and four from the west in the play-ins. Oh, okay. So, oh, so we don't get to put a lot of people in the Basuda category? Technically, no. Oh, okay. But I, I do think the Nets are a playing team. Hear me out. Okay, they're, top, they're, hear out later. they're top five right now, but I think they fall because no Kyrie and KD to a playing team. They don't even deserve to be a playing team. They <laughs> deserve to be mid. That's what they, they get. All, if they're not pursued, they're mid. I, I can agree on mid. All right. Well, that's what they will sit at mid. Oh, just so you know, I have, a, I have my own list of, of this and players coming out on Saturday and Sunday, so make sure you check that out on the YouTube channel. Um. So Utah Jazz, what are we thinking? They did just didn't they? They just bought Russ out. Uh, I'd say I say they end up barely playing. Playing, okay. Barely. Also, I got. I'm looking up the records right now. They are currently 11th. I agree. Barely playing. With playing, okay. Uh, good, Portland they're... Trailblazers. I want. To... They're playing. Uh, yeah, I think playing as well. Yeah, I think they is there. Either a playing team, right? I'm sorry. Dallas Mavericks, uh, playoff contenders. I agree, hundred percent. If I, not, I, if not worthy already. Not maybe not covered. Yeah. Also, these aren't the final spots. Obviously, when we put everything together, me and John are going to elaborate and see if we miss anything. So these are just like temporary spots. Right Wait, we'll scroll up. I want to see the other two options uh, for the categories: finals and conference finals. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so next, uh, Cavaliers. Cavaliers. Conference finals? Yeah. I'm going to – I'm gonna. they're going to be my one team in the East. That I, I, I just don't like their bench. That's it. They, they have a bad bench, and that's why they will lose in the conference finals, but they will make it there. Okay. Okay. We, we can leave that up there for now. The fi- Celtics, we had we ha- – John, we have – Yeah, put them, put them in the finals container. Yeah. Ha- thank you. They were there last year, I guess. Mm, actually, you know what? I kind of want to put them in – Conference finals worthy. I mean, I don't know. They're a top team in the East. Yeah, but the thing is, for the last nine years, there's been a different uh, finals representative from the East. Well, hey. I'm just saying, I don't think they repeat. If Jason Tatum wants it, as I want it for Jason Tatum as well, but. But do you think they have a good shot at making the finals? Yeah, they have a good shot. They're they're a, they're a top two team. <laughs> they're a top two team. Uh, Timberwolves. Uh, it is, but I guess playoff. Playing? Playing, yeah, I guess. Okay. Mid Thunder, well. uh, I'm going to say mid. I'm going to say mid as well. Yeah, Thunder or mid. Close to being Basuda's low key. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Miami. Uh, we're going to go playoff contenders. I agree with that. I think they'll, they're what? They are they're second half seventh. Half. They're seventh right now. I think they, I think that, I think the Nets and them switch. So yeah, I agree with that. Nice. Sacramento Kings. Mid as hell. I'm a, I say play ins. You're, you're. What are we talking about here, Phil? I I think the what? Jazz, Trailblazers, and Timberwolves, and Kings are the are your players. Well, here? we'll say mid. How okay. weak is the West that the Kings are a playing team? That's okay. what I want to know. Golden right. State Warriors. I want, I want someone to knock on LeBron James' door at seven a.m. in the morning and ask him that. How mid are the Lakers that the Kings are a playing team? I'm just saying. Okay, okay. Golden State Put Warriors. The next to them. Put the Lakers next to the Kings. 
That's he, mid? He, you put him in, they both mid. You Actually, know, no, put them, put them both in plans. They can both be plans. So who do we take like, out, though? That's the question, then. Ooh, who do we take out of the plans? We, we had to take one of these five out because they're all West teams. Oh, Jazz. Put that Jazz. They don't, they don't believe in Jazz and mid? Okay. Yeah, they mid. So, Loki. I mean, realistically, who I think is mid is Minnesota. All right. So they got mid do you want to switch? Jazz, I, but I, I every single time I disbelieve about Anthony Carl Anthony Towns, he always proves me wrong. So I'm not Jersey always, boy, but like sometimes. Okay, we we can stick with that. Okay, he so he plans, but he's trash. I'm just letting you know that works. Okay, so Golden State Warriors, uh, converts worthy. Okay, I can see that. Uh, Chicago they're, Bulls, they're, they're healthy. Are they playoff? Are they play ins or playoff contenders? I don't know. Uh, right now they're eleventh in the East. I feel like they're plans. Maybe I don't know. They could be mid. I, I actually play in. I, 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 you want to be on play in? Yeah, I just, I just, I think, I think I see more in the second half from them. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I, I see a lot more for everybody, but gotcha. just... Indiana Pacers. I think they're a playing team personally. I mean, they're they're two and a half games away from tenth. Uh, and, and, no plans. So no plans. Okay, Memphis Grizzlies playing, playing. These bums need to earn it. I'm joking. They're second um, in the West right now. First of all, I said they had to earn it way before ever. All these other fakes said they had to earn it. So Honestly, I would have them here. Well, yeah, they're playing. Of course, come on. Okay, but but they they're not conference champ. They're they. I, I, I agree with that. They they could be one up though. They really could be. I'm just saying they need to earn it. But yeah, like, really, right. I've been saying that forever. I'm just saying. Okay, Atlanta Hawks. Uh, they are eighth right now. I'm, I think playing to be honest. Realistically, yeah, but no, I try to think playoff contenders. Mm, okay. I know, I know, but I mean, I'm just saying. Okay, Orlando Magic. We can switch I, it later. We can switch it later. Yeah, I think the Magic gotta go here. <laughs> Why you gotta put them? Either, in either, it's, it's it's one of these two. It's one of these two. They're they're mid, I guess. Okay, what mid. are they right now? What are they? Right? Yeah. They are thirteenth in the East. Yo, they could be a playing team. They're Basura. They could be a playing team. They could. I'll say. Can we? I'll agree on mid. We'll meet around the middle. Fine. We'll meet it in the middle on mid. Middle. But Milwaukee, like they they had a better year than they did last year. Right. Uh, Milwaukee, teams, Milwaukee Bucks. Mid as fuck. But uh, what are we really gonna put them at? I guess playoff contenders. I'll say finals contenders. You think so? Yeah. Who do who they trade for somebody too? Who they trade for? A Jay Crowder. Helps uh, a lot in defense. Uh, I don't know. I don't. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I see them as finals contenders. Ooh. Just because Giannis needs to get his thing together. Does he have it together? That's what I need to ask. Yeah, Giannis needs to heal. Giannis needs to heal, heal up though. So. I mean, two points in the All Star game. You really let Jason Tatum just rock your moment. It was. It was the injured wrist. That's why. He doesn't deserve to ever draft again. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Where's the key? I mean, technically, he's team one. Yeah, but he he wouldn't even have known. He wouldn't even have known. I mean, he won. His... He it's like Phil. It's like the non-athletic kid playing on the the championship team. You know what I mean? Congratulations <laughs> on your Yo- championship. Are you talking about Jokic? So trash. What? Jokic. No, I'm talking about my brother. But you know. Speaking of Jokic, the Never Nuggets. Uh, mid. <laughs> I just said what I said. I said what I said. Are they ever going to get out of the first round of the playoffs? That's disrespectful. We'll what? <laughs> That's disrespectful. So. Yeah, are they ever going to get out of the first round of the playoffs? I, I, I think this year they do. Okay, well, yeah, I guess. I think it's one of these players. two. Are you, you're kidding two. me, Phil. You're kidding me. Nah. I'm going to say conference. They're, they're playoff contenders. That's it. Okay. They need to earn. With you, We're making Memphis earn it. We're making them earn it, too. Okay. Uh, I'm messing up your whole projections, too. I'm just letting you know. North, hey, I, I got my personal own ready to be uploaded, so we good on that. Okay, okay, okay. The Pelicans. I mean, this is pretty decent. I mean, yeah, I think it's decent so far. New Orleans. I'm a little harsh. Uh, sh- honestly, pl- play playoff contenders. I don't know. I can see that. Yeah, once I get healthy, playoff contenders. Do I have to? I have to fill out the the top and the the, the top two. I can't just put everyone at playoff contenders. We, we want to make it not too much like stacked in one category. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. We'll How you feel? And fill. So, the Clippers. Uh, sh- play-ins. Play-ins? Uh, what, what is their record now, Phil? Uh, let's see. Because if you say if it's – if it's They're fourth in the West. They're fourth right yeah. now? Yeah. So we guess West. Uh, 
I think they're here personally. They're, they're playoff contenders, but yeah, sure. If you want to put them, you want to? No, Phil, I'm not putting them on mine. No, 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 no. We can okay. move the Nuggets up before we, we move we, them. We, up. we can go playoff contenders. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, the Suns. They, they, they have. They, they oh, have yeah, to be yeah, right yeah. here. No, yeah. Probably, yeah, all the way to the final contender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they have. They have to be. Uh, Sixers. Uh, I'm thinking these. That's right here. I'm thinking I'm a green. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll go with the Wizards. I'm going right. Masuda, bro. Don't even Masuda? put they don't, they don't even okay. know, they should be a G League team. I All can right. agree with that. Yeah. So what I said. Up next, Toronto Raptors. Uh sh- right now they are they, they could be playing. They're tenth uh, right now. I want to say one of these two spots. One of these two. Playing, sure. I guess. I guess. Playing. We'll playing. Yeah, because they're a Canadian team, so they don't really get much respect to begin okay. with. So playing. And the New York Knickerbockers. We're gonna say playing. We're gonna we're gonna definitely not playoff oh, contenders. I feel I, play- you know what? We will say playoff contenders. We will. We'll, we'll oh, because it's, it's the higher one of the two. Oh <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I could go all the way to conference, but like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not allowing that to happen. <laughs> Why not, Phil? Why they're not? They're not conference finals contenders. If they make it to the conference, so you imagine we, we need one more team to be in the plans because four East and four West. Mm-hmm. Which so it has to be the the Hawks. I think it should be the Hawks personally. Wait, would you need one team to go down? Yeah, I think it's the Hawks. Uh, wouldn't it be the Knicks? No, I don't. I think the, the Knicks are better than the Hawks. Really? Yes. You think the Knicks are better than the Hawks? Yes. You're crazy, but okay. they 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 have an underperforming. Like and I'm a Knicks fan. Season. Let me just tell you. Hey, come on, Phil. They're, 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 if Trey are... Lance comes to New York again, bro, I want to hear you say that the Knicks are going to beat Trey Lance. Trey, Young. Trey, whatever his name is. Trey. I mean, they have they have a four game lead over, over the Hawks right now. Trey Lance is the San Francisco quarterback, whatever. Yeah, I get they got a four-game lead. I get that. But, like. So, we're saying Knicks playing? I mean. It's one of these two. I Sure, you can move the Hawks down, but, I mean. Okay. I'm trying to hype up your team. Damn. I know. But, like, I just, I don't know. I don't. They got to win. You got to, like, I, I'm not only holding Memphis accountable. I'm holding the Knicks accountable as well. They got to they gotta win. But I, I, I do. I, I want to switch Brooklyn and Toronto. Uh. I guess. I guess. Thank you. Because I, I just think that they, what the Nets have the fifth best team right now, rankings wise. I do think they slip a, a little bit, but at least in the plans. Phil, if if uh, if the Nets don't make the playoffs, you have to wear a Nets hat on the uh, broadcast. Play ins or the playoffs? If they don't even make the play in, you got to wear Deal. a Knicks hat. Deal. All right, cool. Deal. I have to wear a Knicks hat, you said? Yeah, if they don't make the play in. Deal. I will take that bet 100 percent of the time. I mean, I, I'm not giving you anything in return, but that's fine. That's fine. But I'm just I, gonna... I, I get to say I told you so. That's it. Okay, you can say that all you want. Go ahead. So, um, you th- I think we should have one more West Finals contender. We, sh- uh, yeah, but because I think I think we should have two for each. That's just my opinion. But yeah, I mean, we should. But I don't. I don't. I don't. Tr- I'm not giving it to the Nuggets, and I'm not giving it to. I mean, you know you what? The we can. We, how about we have one more conference uh, finals worthy? I'm gonna go the Mavs. Okay. Okay. So, who do you think gets that last finals contender spot? I don't. I don't believe anyone deserves it other than those three teams. Okay, I can see that. Okay, so. Uh, it, because uh, realistically, someone from the plane is gonna move up, and then someone from this is gonna move up. Do you know what I mean? Yes. So I, I like our finals contenders. I can deal with the conference finals, playoff contenders. I'm good with play-ins. I agree with that. Uh, mid, I'm good. With, okay, I think we're. I think we like John. Anything you think we should move? I want to switch the 76ers and the uh, Bucks. Oh, Bucks down to the conference finals and yep. Sixers down All to right. finals. Unfortunately, yeah. Oh, Kim's not gonna like that one. Yep. Nope. <laughs> I, realistically, I want it to be Cleveland, but I'm gonna go 76ers. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? No, that looks better because because realistically, my whole my whole precedent is that Boston is so good that I have to technically put them there. Right. You know what I mean? Just as like I'm not a hater. I'm just like realistically, 52 points. If you look at other stats and whatever, okay. they're, they're gonna be in the contention of it. You know what I mean? But like, plus they won last year, so like. But I honestly, I don't know if I believe they make the finals. I'm be honest with you right, right. there. I don't know. 
So, um, hey, this is me and John's made made tier list. The finals contenders: Celtics, Sun Sixers. Conference finals contenders: Cavs, Warriors, Mavs, Bucks. Playoff contenders: Heat, Grizzlies, Nuggets, Pelicans, Clippers, Knicks. Play-ins: Blazers, Timberwolves, Lakers, Kings, Nets, Bulls, Pacers, Hawks. Mid: Pistons, OKC, Jazz, Magic, and Raptors. And Basura: Rockets, Hornets, Spurs, and Wizards. A team. You're gonna see this, and you're not gonna like what you're gonna see, but uh, I don't care. So, uh, oh, uh, come come at me on this podcast, all right? Yeah, this will be up- yeah, this is getting uploaded to YouTube. So, whatever comments you have, put them down below. So, let's get it. Okay, I'm just gonna download this picture so I can upload it later as well. Quick download again, but I love you, Lou. <laughs> I love you. Violated that man. Okay, download image. Just let me download it real quick. And then minutes, move on. Gotcha. We're we're gonna do one draft tonight. Honestly, okay, then. if the draft is good, let's do two. If the draft is okay. good. Okay, so we're at the end of the show. Now we're gonna do our draft. So we have four options. Let's see. Let me share the screen. So we're all set with that. Okay, we'll need right there. Okay, so let me know when you see it, John. Okay, looking. I kind of see it. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so uh, we're, we'll see what, what the first one is, and we'll go off of that. So three spins. Here's the first one. Ooh. We got home run. Home run. Okay, that's the first spin. Second spin. Sports movies. Sports movies, interesting, interesting. And the last spin. Then, which will decide our draft is home run hitters. Home run hitters, actually. Okay. There we go. So, with baseball season coming up, me and John are going to draft what three and then two extra, or four and two extra. Uh, three and two extra. Let's do five altogether. Okay. So. You guys are the charity champs. So, John, I'll go to have first pick. Thank you. Uh, oof, 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 oof. I'm going to go with a legend. I'm going to go with a legend that later on in his life was disrespected. Don't know if you know about this. Uh, but, I mean, he was uh, he had a bunch of nicknames. Um, and it's going to be Babe Ruth. It's holding a swat. Let's go. First pick. Damn. Okay. Uh, I'll go someone – that also played for the Red Sox. Give me Big Poppy, David Ortiz. Personal favorite. Big Poppy. I was going to go there. I really was. I, had to, you, I got to. I got to. I Legendary home run over Torrey Hunter's head. Make him flip over the, the fence in Fenway. I, I have to go legendary. I understand. I understand. And he was, he was great. And they were both Red Sox. Uh, but I'm going to go with a, a different player now. I'm going to go with someone to break Babe Ruth's record. All right, there are many people that have broken it. There's so far, too. But uh, uh, I'm going to go with Hank Aaron oh, uh, in Atlanta. Nice. I mean, he, he broke Bay Ruth's record in the South. So it's pretty damn. pretty damn exciting. And uh, he played with a bunch of really good players. And That was my next pick. Yeah, Hank Aaron at number two. Who okay. You, um, you know what? Let me go with one of the newest home run hitters that we're seeing today. Let me go Aaron Judge. Hey, All right. Man. I like to see it. I like to see it. Hey, 61, 62 home runs this year, I believe. So, hey, got to get one of the good ones this year. Okay. All right, all right. Um, let's see. Who do I want? I'm gonna go with. You know, since since Phil is a Red Sox fan, and I love that about him. I love that oh. you're a Red Sox fan. So I'm gonna go with your legend. I'm gonna go with Ted Williams. Oh, okay, thank God. I mean, hey, I mean, I had to I had to put it on the board, and Ted Williams. I mean. They're all, they're all, I mean, I'm picking agents, but they're all pretty damn good. I'm just saying. Who's hella right? ancient. Ted Williams is hella I mean, ancient. He's mad good. You know I mean, you probably should have, he was better, Dave Ortiz or Ted Williams. I mean, I mean, John, Williams. John did name drop a player that did not get drafted yet. Let me go Barry Bonds. Let me go one of, one of the best to ever do it. San Francisco Giants. He's in the Hall of Fame. It's not, unfortunately. Yep. I'm going Barry Bonds. Congratulations. It's a good pick. All right. I'm going to go uh, someone near and dear to my heart. Um, Someone who leads. Home runs for Rodriguez, uh, A Rod, A Rod, you Rod. No, absolutely not. Dear, dear to your heart, I thought it was A Rod. <laughs> no, I shot that later on. Wait, no, I had to get rid of that. No, 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 I was never a Yankee fan. 
But um, uh, all right, my pick. All right, before someone said Aaron, when I said most home runs from a catcher, uh, is Mike Piazza, number thirty-one. Ooh, the New York Mets. Okay. He, let me tell you, his stroke crazy. Like, like I remember saying he he. His first, my first two Met games ever were like big because like, uh, one was uh like where he got like inducted and like there were a bunch of catchers and he just broke the record for uh, home runs by catcher and then the second one was against the Yankees and he had a home run against the I was oh it was amazing it's like eleven to two, I sat next to this kid who was like a diehard Yankee fan too Phil who like the whole like before the game started we're like oh the Yankees are gonna kill the Mets the Yankees are gonna kill the Mets the Yankees are gonna kill the Mets. 11 to 2, Phil. Ooh. Oh, great. Felt oh, great. Who do you got as your first honorable mention? Uh, for me, let me look. Hold on. Uh, you know what? I think what's this last season? But I'm gonna go with Albert Pujols, St. Louis Cardinal, Angels, etc. etc. Actually advanced in the after the first round of this year's home run derby. I gotta go with the legend, Albert Pujols. He's a legend. I will give it to you. That was a great pick. Exactly. I actually uh there was a comment. Uh like I was, I was, I was going to a Mets game, and uh, they were asking like questions from fans before like the game for like tickets and stuff for like the next game because it was like bobblehead night, and I I won a question off Albert Pools. They were like, "Who is hit? Like, who's top five in home runs? Who's playing against the Mets tomorrow?" Yada yada. That uh, whatever. And I was someone said something, and I was like Albert Pools, and they were like, "You're right," and I won tickets. Okay, so that's my little Albert Pools story, but uh, great pick. Uh, my last honorable mention, I'm going to go with, uh, someone near and dear to my heart, Manny Marrero's. I just, I, I loved him in LA and, oh. I, loved him and I, I, I love Manny. I don't care. That was my last pick. about the steroids. I just love Manny. So. Damn. Yeah. Manny being Manny. Oh, uh, damn. Well, with my, my, with my last honorable mention, with that pick being taken, uh, we're going to go to Seattle for this one. Ken oh. Griffey Jr., I got to go with uh, Griffey. Got to go Only with him. player to play with his dad. Yeah, Manny Ramirez was taken, so I got to go with Ken Griffey Jr. Ever in any sport. That's crazy. Good pick. Good legend. Hey. Uh, do hey. you want to do one more draft? Yep. So let me do the outro. So that was our home run hitters draft. Let us know your favorite home run hitters down below in the comments and who had the better draft between me and John. Obviously me. So <laughs> with that feels like. Aaron Babe Ruth. <laughs> Manny Marrero, like, come on, stop. Ted Williams, who has the better? Come on, who is one clear winner. Okay. I can make a graphic about this and let, and let the yeah. world decide. I'll, I'll, I'll make that. Okay, bet. So, with that being said, I like, tune in. Make sure you put uh, subscribe, put on notifications so we know when we upload. Check out all the other drafts in the podcast segments. And thank you for tuning in. We'll see you in the next draft. Okay, so um, next, do, do you want to? Is there one that you want to do specifically? Or um, I don't care. Any one of those three are cool. So, anyone okay. you want to do specifically? Uh, point guards. Really? It's narrow. Point guards. All right. Point point guards or dunkers? Up to you. I mean, I could go either way. So, if you want to do point guards, let's do point guards. Uh, okay. Let me think of some real quick. I said, let me Google real quick. Oh, you're so funny. I do the same. I'm not gonna lie to you. So I, I do the one hitters. Interesting. I'm not gonna lie to you, John. Interesting. All right. Well, let's see. Let's see. All right. Who you pick? So you, you, I you, go, want, you want the first overall pick? Yes. 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 Okay. Botch it. Go ahead. Either way, it's a botch. Go ahead. <laughs> are we doing? We are doing four and two. Uh, no, three and two. Why y'all do? All right. We can do four and two if you want. It's up to you. Okay. So, um, you know what? Let me go with one of the greatest considered uh point guards of all time, uh, Magic Johnson. Congrats, he was number one. Congrats. Oh, what was I, what, what I was gonna say? Is it Rajon Rondo? Well, you about to botch. You about to either way because I'm gonna go Steph Curry. He yeah. will be the greatest point guard of all time when he's it's all said and done. Okay, that's a good pick. Uh, next point card. I'm gonna damn. That's keep on your toes. Let's go. Come on. Okay. You know what? I just, I just want to see John's reaction. Give me Jason Kidd. All right. <laughs> Playing it, playing near and dear. You're right. I have talked about Jason Kidd a lot, and he is an amazing point guard. And that was a great pick. Thank Some you. Would say it was a steal. Some would say it was a steal. All right, yes. because it was, it was a little high for Jason Kidd. But okay, it um, is. Yeah, I'm gonna go with uh, someone we've talked a lot about. Uh, someone who is another favorite on this podcast. I go with Russell Westbrook. 
Oh, good pick. I, I, Elijah and Wally would be very happy with that pick. Yes. They, he, uh, Devin Hall of Fame talent. Uh, hopefully he does something on the Clippers because they've been such a, a wash team in my eyes. I mean, maybe they're not. They're the fourth in the West. So they haven't done anything with Kawhi or Paul George. So yeah. I mean, but Kawhi's come back and he's put up like 30. So like, I mean, he's not like he's wash. You know what I mean? Like they're, they're a solid team, but they need to just win when they need to win. You know what I mean? Right. So uh, for me, do I think this guy was? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna save this pick. So I, I think John Warren, I was not gonna pick him in the next three rounds. Uh, let me go with uh, a Hornet, a Clipper, a Rocket. Let me go. Let me go, Mr. Chris Paul. Let me go, Mr. CP Zero Rings. Let me go. Um, give me Chris Paul. Zero Rings. Damn the disrespect. Hey, shout out, uh, blank. Shout out, Blank Boy Thirty Nine on TikTok. He's the one that made up that name. Well, I've seen so far. So shout out. To, I got Chris Paul as my pick. All right. This is this is a slander. This is. I should be picking somebody else above him, but just because I think overall he's better than Chris Paul, I'm going to pick him right now. I'm going to say Dame is better than Chris Paul, and I'm going to go Dame Lillard. <sighs> thank God. Okay, good. Uh, my pick tonight could take him. Thank God. Okay. Hey, that's a good pick. Uh, Dame Dowell. Go ahead. He's not, he's not, you know, top 75 good, but he's a good pick. Get out of here. What are you talking He's Chris Paul or Dame? Chris Paul over all time, yeah. Get out of here, bro. Dame's going to be better than Chris Paul all the time. Wait, we'll see. Um, for me, I thank you, John, for not picking this man. We're going to go. We can go to L.A. if you want, or we can go where his prime was, actually. Let's go to Phoenix. Steve Nash. One of my favorite point guards of all time. Give me Steve Nash. Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah Thomas. Thomas. Could be technically before Curry was considered the second best point guard of all time. Are you going also, with I- a former Nick head coach? I'm just saying. Are you going with IT? I am. Isaiah, okay. like Celtics Isaiah Thomas? Or? No, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. You can pick a Celtics Isaiah Thomas. Okay, so you got Pistons Isaiah Thomas. Yeah. Uh, you know what? This one's a personal favorite. Or do I want to go – damn. Or do I want to be random as hell? Uh, I have two picks. I, I have two p- people in my mind. I have, damn, three people. Uh, you know what? Let me go to someone. Uh, I grew up watching in Boston. Number nine. Let me go. Rajon Rondo is my last. Are pick. you serious? Yes. You I, go Rondo. I, I know there's there's a lot of better names, but I'm gonna go with a, with my one of my fan favorites. So let me go Rondo. Oh my god, so, bro! He used to get into fights with everybody. And don't you love a player that's excited to get into fights? I mean. I don't know. I'm just saying, like, I don't I mean, I guess he had to because he was on a, a team with three superstars, but like I don't know. I kind of felt like he, he identified as one, but right. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with someone that we should have definitely picked by now. Oscar Robinson. Should have definitely been picked by now, but I respect it. That was the last picks, right? Uh no, I think we got two more. Two more? One okay. More. One more each. Okay. Uh and the last pick. I'm gonna go with a Chicago Bull, a Chicago Bull, and Chicago native. Give me Derrick Rose, youngest MVP ever. I think his career is obviously cut short due to injuries, but just just imagine the talent and potential he could have had. Let me go, Derrick Rose. Great pick, great pick. Uh, just pick Walt Frazier. Call it a day. I'm. I was thinking about Will. <laughs> I really was. Uh, Raymond Felton. Bro, don't be don't be coming at my neck. Sometimes. Jeremy Lin. <laughs> How de- first of all, Jeremy Lin set the world on fire. Yeah, let's see. I, I should have picked the last one. Like, I, I, mentions, but I'm gonna go with somebody who I don't even know. Technically, he probably was not even considered a point guard. Mark Jackson. No. <laughs> that the answer. AI. Uh, oh, yeah. that's a good pick. Yeah. I had to match your picks somehow in a good way, so I'm gonna go with AI. He wasn't really even considered a point guard, but if he was technically a point guard, that's how I'm gonna go. On for okay, if so, he, if you know Steph Curry, like if Steph like already happened and then AI happened, AI would have been so much better than he was. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like I'm just saying, like I feel like if AI had someone like Steph Curry to look up to or challenge or compete with, like he would have he would have hit more threes. You know what I mean? He would have lasted in the league longer. I don't know. Hey, it's history. Um, so. That has been our point guard draft. Like all the previous drafts below, check out our podcast segments, subscribe, put on notifications so you know when we upload. And this has been another draft. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next one.
Peace. Okay, so um, hey, I'm at an hour four. We're you know our goal of cutting our podcast short because two hours is a lot to listen to. We apologize on that, but we are working hard, and obviously we achieved that goal today. A little bit over an hour, but hey, things well, got done. We did done. two drafts, so I we mean, did two drafts, and we did a, a full show. So hey, shout out to us. Yeah, well appreciated. Thank you, thank you for John for coming through this weekend. This, sorry, not this weekend, but this podcast. So shout out to you. Obviously, other hosts you. have. I'm dealing with other stuff, so shout out to them. Make sure you guys handle your life before you come to the podcast. It's always your life first before everything, so shout out to those guys as well. Akeem, Elijah, Walid, et cetera, et cetera. Also, uh, our intern, George, having a baby very soon, hopefully on March 9th. Hopefully on March 9th. So, uh, John, last words before we head out. Last words? Uh, I don't know. Uh, there's a lot. To, there's a lot. Go take up the ground. What did you say? You go Jacob the Grom, right? I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I'm, I'm a huge Jacob the Grom fan. What, what's going on? What, what news are you talking about right now? What's happening? No, I'm just saying that he's a Rangers now. I don't know if you're rooting yeah. for him or not. No, I am. I'm rooting for him. Uh, I'm, I'm a huge Jacob the Grom fan. He, the reason why I like him is because like, the Mets for years like didn't hit at all. Like even when he pitched, like. To the point where the media was like, are you ever going to like comment on that? Are you ever going to be like, hey, uh, no, they're not hitting for me. What's the point of me even pitching? You know what I mean? Like, are you, do you want to be like traded? Like, is there anything like, are you upset? And he'd always answer back. Do you know how hard it is to hit a baseball? Like he would, he would, he would not make up excuses, but he would, he would, he would say everyone is dealing with their own thing. You know what I mean? He, he was just the most logical. So like, to me, like that would be my first priority is signing that guy because he created the culture of the Mets. You know what I mean? Right. But the Mets are thinking, I mean, I think they're thinking really short term and we just need to win a world series. You know what I mean? And uh, I, as much as I want to win a world series, uh, I want to deal with the players that help build the organization. So that's why I'm, I'm a little upset with it. them not resigning him just because like, I felt like the organization didn't even want to talk about anything over three years. You know what I mean? Right. Which is like kind of hilarious because like the guy's been it, he he basically did what Tom Brady did was he was taking less money and like he like tried to get other players resigned and stuff and it, the Mets are just stupid I don't know but uh, I don't know at least with that I don't know sorry I know that's that's messed up to say I don't know if we want to talk in sports we shouldn't like criticize our favorite teams but oh we should everyone deserves criticism. Yeah, but I, I mean, and that's that's just the thing that I think they, they messed up on this offseason. I would have resigned him. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. He he. It, it's it was it was definitely like like I get he was old. You know what I mean? I get he was injured a lot, but it was he was definitely a culture piece to me. So it's like if they got rid of like Jalen Brown Oof. on the Celtics, and they were just like, you know what? Any great shooting guard would do. You know what I mean? Like that would that'd be terrible. Well, you know how like you know how annoying that would be, especially because this they, picture wouldn't they, exist. <laughs> like that, and that's I mean they came up when they were young. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, uh, but gotcha. oh, um, for me, hey, uh, NBA season is back in full swing. Uh, the All Star break is now over. There's games playing right now, actually, while we're recording this on Thursday, on Thursday night. Um, MLB season is coming around the corner too. Me, John, and Elijah will be working on a little price picks parlay. Hopefully, it does better than the NFL parlay. So, the NBA one's doing okay. I mean. Yeah, I think as of right, I can give you an update real quick before I head out. Uh, as of right now, I forgot which one I picked. Was that the second one? RJ Barrett, yeah. So Curry over 26.0 points. He's at 29.4. RJ Barrett 20.5 projected. He's at 19.7. So RJ Barrett needs to, you know, pick it up. Do you think he's going to do it or? I think he barely gets it. Oh, all right. Uh, DeJounte Murray, 19.0. He is at 20.7. So he's doing good. And Jordan Poole at 2.7. He needs 2.8 or more. So, I think what I think how the season is going to play out. I think Curry and Dejounte Murray get it fairly, but I think RJ Barrett and Poole are going to make a sweat at the, like near, like the last week of the yeah, season. Yeah, I think they barely get it though. So six, and we each threw a twenty dollars, so six six hundred dollars total, two hundred dollars to each host. So hey, I, cool. I, I, I believe in the parlay. So yeah. So and with that being said, I'm looking forward to what, what me Elijah and John cook up for MLB because I know some people might have differences, but. Maybe a Jacob Degrom square might be on there. We'll see or not. So I mean, I I don't know. I we can look at it after all. It's not like a deal breaker. I'm still gonna be a Mets fan. I just I don't know. I just it's I don't know. It, it's just it's just big because like I I don't know. He he was he was the link from David Wright 
to the team. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. David Wright was the link from Mike Piazza. And I can, I, if you want, I can link player to player from like, like nine eleven to like. That could now. be like, that could be his own like YouTube. Ooh, that could be an idea. John. Like Mike Piazza to, to David Wright to Ooh. David Rom to. You might be onto something, sir. Pete Alonzo. Ooh, somebody needs to use that for the TikTok or something. Oh, so um, with that being said, those are all the closing words. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, this week, uh, usually Wednesday and Fridays, we upload one of those two days at, at noon. So tune into that down below, YouTube, Spotify, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You can read the bottom. You've you've probably seen it flow throughout the whole show. So with that being said, thank you for tuning in from myself and John. This has been the Ball Central Podcast. Hey, a lot of things we got moving this year, including the social media. So go check that out. Our TikTok has been scorching lately. So tune into that as well. And with that being said, we will see you next time. Peace. Peace.